I am Anil Kumar. We are exploring probability distribution. The question here is, find the probability distribution for the number of threes obtained when two dice are thrown. Confirm that it is discrete random variable. Right? So let's consider two fair dice which are being thrown. Right? So and each dice, as you know, will have six faces, right? So it could be six faces. Now we are saying find the probability distribution for number of threes obtained when two dice are thrown. So there are two dice which are being thrown and we want number of threes to be accounted for. Now when you throw two dice, we could get a combination of uh, six numbers here and six on the other side that is to say that we get a combination of 36 right total combinations right okay now let us see how to answer this particular question okay now let us define the random variable first right so let's say x is the random variable which is number of threes number of threes okay when two dice are thrown correct now possible values what are the possible outcomes of this random variable either we get uh, zero right so we could get zero none of them is a three or we could get one of them as a three right one of them or both could be three so so these are the three possibilities so the outcomes here are zero one and two now when we talk about the probability distribution we have to check their probability right so what is the probability that when we throw these two none of them will be three what is the probability that one of them will be three and what is the probability that both will be three right that is what we have to figure out so let's work that out now so first we'll begin with none of them so we're trying to find the probability when x is equals to zero that means none of them is three so if none of them is three that means what are they there are any other number not three right so so we'll call this as uh, uh, let's say die let me say a and we'll call this as b right so we will say that the probability when uh, a is not 3 so we'll say this as uh, a not 3 and b not 3 is that okay so b not 3 so so that is what we are finding correct now since both are independent events a not 3 that means it could be any other 5 number but not 3 out of 6 right so it is 5 out of 6 times 5 out of 6 so b not 3 means 5 out of 6 right so that gives us 25 over 36 right now let's look for the probability when x is equals to 1 now that means what that means uh, two cases that is a is 3 and b not 3 is it okay b not 3 this is first case or let me write plus for that right plus we say a is not 3 but b is 3 okay so in that case we ensure that one of them is 3 right now a is 3 means there is only one 3 out of 6 so this probability is 1 out of 3 times b is not 3 means 5 out of uh, I'm sorry this is 6 right so 1 out of 6 5 out of 6 plus a is not 3 means any other number out of those 5 and b is 3 means you can say multiply 1 out of 6 is it okay so that becomes 5 over 6 plus 5 over 6 that is when you add them up um, I mean 36 it is 10 over 36 is that okay yeah so 5 over 36 plus 5 over 36 gives you 10 over 36 
and the last case is when x is equals to 2 right so both are 3 so that is to say that a is 3 and b is 3 is it okay so both are 3 it means 1 out of 6 right 1 out of 6 times 1 out of 6 and that gives you 1 over 36 great so that becomes the probability that both are 3 now since we have these values we can always now show the probability distribution uh, in the form of a table let's say this is our table now okay so this is for 0 1 and 2 okay that's fine So let's write down the random variable x, possible values of 0, 1, and 2, and the probability for x equals to small x, right, lowercase. So for 0, we found it is 25 over 36. That is highest probability, that's the mode. And then for 1, it is 10 over 36. And for 2, it is 1 over 36. Is that okay? So that becomes the probability distribution for the given case, right? Now another part of this question is confirm that it is discrete random variable. Now how to do that? When we want to prove it is discrete random variable, what are we trying to say? We are trying to say that some of these probabilities, all these probabilities, let's say xi, is equal to 1. That is what we are trying to say, right? So let's sum it up and check, right? So the way, best way is to just add them up. Common denominator is 36, as you can see. Numerators are 25 plus 10 plus 1, which is also 36. So we get 36 over 36 equals to 1. Since it sums to one, we can say that it is a discrete random variable, right? So that is how you can actually solve such questions and I hope that gives you a good understanding of the topic itself. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.